Hey guys, it's Lisa from The Pressure's On, and today I'm going to be doing some meatballs in my Instant Pot um, to freeze, because the husband's coming home from training t next week, and I want to have some stuff that are fast to grab out of the freezer uh, for work and softball and such. Um, you'll probably hear my two kids in the background, they're arguing over something on the TV, don't mind them. Uh, about two garlic cloves, some salt, pepper, oregano, some Italian breadcrumbs, about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and two eggs. Now I know everybody has their own version of uh, meatballs, just like everybody has their own version of meatloaf. So, um, that's how I do mine. And before I use this to use my hands to get all this mixed up, we're going to go over to the Instant Pot and we're going to start heating it on the saute function so that we can brown them on each side before we cook them. All right, here we are. Let's plug her in. This is off right now. We're going to go ahead... We're going to push the saute button, make sure it's on normal. And then I'm going to spray the inside of this and while it gets hot so I can brown up my meatballs. Okay, let's go ahead and start mixing all of this together. Until it's all together and blended well. Now this, since it's two pounds of beef, should roughly make, um, my guess is 20 to 24 meatballs. I will probably have to do a couple rounds in the Instant Pot. The good news is I have put one of the three children to bed, so I have that going for me. Alright, finish this up. And we'll go into making the meatballs. Alright, so I got everything combined now. And I took an ice cream scoop. I'm going to try and make it just a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to roll it up. About that size and drop it on in there. That's the cool thing about an Instant Pot is that you don't need a separate pan to sear things before you cook them. You cook them right in the Instant Pot on the saute function. Go ahead and get these going. And so you guys can see what I'm actually doing in here. This is what it looks like while I'm kind of browning the bottom of these before I actually fully cook them all. Trying to get some sort of browning done on them. Take them out, we'll put them off to the side here. And then we're gonna, when I'm done with all these, we're gonna put them all right back in here with a little bit of beef broth and let them pressure cook. Alright, so we are now done with uh, 
the meatballs and that's how many it actually made and now we're going to go ahead and push the cancel button and let that cool down a little and we're going to go ahead and start putting all of these into here okay so now that we got everything made into little meatballs we're going to take a cup of beef broth and pour it in and let's deglaze this a little bit get everything off the bottom there we go we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting our meatballs back in See if we can fit them all in here at once. You want them, they can be touching, but you don't want them to be smushed. Looks like I was able to fit 18 of them in there. So next we're gonna put on the lid. The fun noises. We're gonna go from ceiling, or from venting to ceiling position. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to push manual, high pressure, seven minutes. And we're going to go ahead and wait for that to beep at us and say on. And we're going to wait our, our time. This is what we do while we're waiting for our Instapot to get done. And just to show you guys that we came to pressure and about three minutes left. All right, now that we have naturally released the pressure for five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the spigot and let it release for the rest of the time. Now you can see that our pin has dropped. I'm go ahead and open this. And there's our meatballs. Go ahead and grab this bowl. bowl. I'll put them in here. Mmm, they smell delicious. It's too bad we're not going to be eating them anytime soon. Get all these out of here. They go in here and they're going to... They're going to go ahead and go in here and cool off. The internal temperature... Let's check that. The internal temperature on one of these right now is... Higher than 173. So, just fine. And I have a couple more I need to cook again. Or not again, but need to cook with this batch before I let them cool and put them in some freezer bags for, I don't know, some spaghetti. We'll probably use them for meatball subs
Okay, so now that they're cool to the touch, I'm going to go ahead and put them into a freezer bag. Oh, I got All right, so let's put about 12 in here and get the air out. And then when the other ones cool off, I'll go ahead and put them in here. All right, it looks like we will end up with about two bags um, of meatballs. And I kind of wanted to, to say something about this whole process. This whole process probably wasn't the fastest process to make meatballs. Um, however, it was the most convenient. Because while all of that was cooking inside that pot, I didn't have to worry about grease splattering everywhere. I didn't have to worry about turning on my oven. I didn't have to worry about anything burning. And all while that was happening, I put all three of my kids to bed. Um... So I think it's more of a convenience factor, more so than it is um, everything being quicker and cooking it. Um, it's definitely going to taste a lot better because all of the um, juice from the actual meat and all of the beef broth were able to kind of intermingle and just not dry out the meat at all. So I'll go ahead and freeze these. And I'll pull them out the morning that we want to use them um, and then just kind of heat them up with some marinara sauce and either put it over pasta or um, I'll put it on some meatball subs uh, when Mike comes home. So um, I will put the, um, we'll put a recipe in the, in the comments of this. Uh, I roughly followed it, but it kind of, it gives you the cooking time. Um, and the uh, steam release options. So uh, if you have any other ideas, um, I'm open to them. Uh, otherwise, have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye.